what's up YouTube PJ back with another video for y'all and today is gonna be an install video but I have hinted in my last video that I was gonna do something with the tail lights and I did get it done as you can see I have these things nice and tinted they're tinted with 20% tint I believe but don't quote me to that because I did take it to a shop to get it done but I've been looking forward to getting this look for a long time. I do wish it could have been just a tad bit darker, but I don't know how the lights would have shone through it. But I can say that I do love the darker accented red with the chrome. It does look very nice. But this video is not going to be about the tail lights. It's not going to be about the exterior of the car at all. It's actually going to be a performance mod. And that so happens to be this. This shifter is finally gotta go <laughs> and there is nothing by any means wrong with this shifter me personally I just would like a lot shorter throws the Mustang did spoil me in that aspect and it had a short shifter so I'm about to go get my short shifter out of the house and then I'm gonna move my mom's car out of the garage so I'll have a whole bunch of garage space to do whatever I need to do with this thing I do have a little bit of experience with this because we did this on Kane's car. I don't remember how long it took. It probably took a couple hours, but that was a day that somebody chose to run off the road right beside my grandmother's house. And uh, we just went over there to check on them, see if that was okay. I wish I had footage of that, but then again, I'm glad he was just okay. Hopefully, hopefully this thing doesn't take me all day. It doesn't take me a couple hours. I hope it doesn't even take one hour. But... The quicker I get this thing started, the quicker I can get it done. I don't think I ever showed y'all my mom's Land Rover thing, Discovery-ish thing. Cause I'm not even a big fan of SUVs, but, or bigger trucks, but smart key not recognized. Uh, oh wait, I have the key. It's telling me to place it under the steering wheel. All right, so I'm gonna see if this works. Put it there. So there was a little place under the steering wheel. You probably can't see it, but it's like a little flat place for the key. And I just had to lay it on there and then press the start button. But I'm about to back this thing on out of here. It's been so long since I saw this car jacked up and it's bringing back some memories. Man, look at this thing. I only have it on one jack stand. The back tire is even starting to come up a little bit. I don't know if y'all could see that or if y'all saw it whenever the camera was sitting over there. But now time for me to just get under here, see what all I gotta undo. Actually, let me undo some stuff from the top first. And I believe I just need to get this off of here. A few moments later. The way I removed this was I basically used my knife to help me out. But uh I got a pry tool also and what I did was when this was like this, I slid the pry tool and knife under here and literally just pried it up and the whole thing just basically popped off. There should be a weight on your shifter and there are three 12 millimeter bolts that are holding this thing on. And take the weight off and then you'll go to the bottom. All right, so I'm sorry in advance for this part of the video, but uh, if I'm correct, all I have to do, I'm under the car and this is the shifter and my dust boot actually has been torn some kind of way. I have to remove this and as you can see, it moves off of one end because the other end doesn't have like a bolt. Like it's not a regular bolt, so you don't have to unscrew it or anything, but I think I just have to remove this this little locking piece and then tap it out of there and pull it out of this side. Once I get that done, I'll move on with the next step. Okay, so here's a brief rundown on what I had to do. First things first, there was this bolt going through the very bottom of here, as you can see. I can put it back in there, but I'm not. 
and it was held in by this little piece right here this was what I was trying to get y'all to see it snaps on here but it snapped on like this and basically what I had to do was pry this thing off and then slide it off like that and this was still gonna be inside of the hole so I had to basically forced it out of there which took a little bit more than just my fingers so if you had like a long pry bar or a long extension or something then you would be able to get this out like I did it did take quite a bit of effort but I got it out and then the next thing was this and it was actually holding the shifter in at the top and it had two screws in this and basically you have to move the shifter around until you have space in order to get the screws out and basically it just took a little effort to get them started and then you could start removing them with your fingers but then as I showed you before there was a weight on the top and it was screwed into this with three screws as you can see and the weight just added weight to it so the thing would be flopping around everywhere and hopefully the next shifter I put on is weighted down and has a weighted shift knob, hopefully. I believe it does, but like I said, hopefully. And this would be such an easy job with two or more people. But if you're doing it by yourself like I was, it could be a bit of a pain. Because it always is better to have one person on top of the car and one person under the car. Well, not on top of the car, but you know, in the car. Alright, and here's the short shifter that I have. It looks like it's pretty much the same length but the throws should be shorter. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with this hardware. I don't actually know how to put this thing on here, but I think I'm gonna try to figure it out. Well, I know I'm gonna have to try to figure it out, but I know this bolt right here goes down here. This is what holds the shifter in, and then the rest of it is, I don't know. I'll be figuring it out. But I do have the unique performance short shifter. I don't know if y'all can read that. But I don't know. Hopefully, it's going to be a pretty decent install. Like I said, I don't think I know what all of this is for, but I'm going to figure it out. Well, all I do know is first things first, I have to transfer this little nylon plastic piece over to this side and grease it all up and get it ready to throw back in the car. Alright, so one thing I wanted to show y'all beforehand, I figured this out, uh, this is how the shifter actually mounts on here, it's basically an adapter piece, and it makes it bigger for the shifter to be able to go on there, because this on the shifter is actually a lot bigger than the shaft is, but that's not what I wanted to show y'all, I wanted to show y'all that they have these little spacers inside of the kit, and basically, they don't have any thread on them or anything. And they basically just go inside of the shift knob like this. See, it just sits inside of there. And what this does, it doesn't allow the shaft to go that far into the shift knob. So then it sits up a little bit higher. I'm just going to use the biggest one that comes in here and see how that does for me. I don't know if y'all can tell how tall that is, but that's how tall that spacer lets it sit. Alright, finally time for the driving push. Got, gotta go put my mama's vehicle back in the garage. All right, so I'm back in here after doing that. And first things first, it does feel like it's kind of shorter. Like it sits a little shorter and it shifts. Oh, actually, yeah, it shifts a lot shorter. And 
if you can hear it, it's kind of notchy. It's like very notchy. I like that. And like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's a lot shorter. Well, not a lot shorter, but it is shorter and it's, you can tell it's shorter. But time for me to get this thing on the road. All right, we're gonna try to do this with one hand for y'all. Get on here right or it could be that this ship knob isn't really that weighted and so it is like rattling I don't know I don't like the adapter shift knobs like this one has an adapter so that makes it sound different and just fit on here differently but uh, I'm about to drive it around for a little bit more and see what it does then So after driving for a little bit, I do like the shifter. I do. But I think the way I have it set up with the spacer on the inside, I think the spacer is what's doing the rattling. So uh, I'm just going to throw this shifter away sooner or later. But I'm going to deal with it right now and not really throw it away, but, you know, get rid of it and get another shifter. I would think I'm going to get a taller one, probably about this tall, and it's going to be a little cylinder type shift knob. But, uh... I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see what's on the market. If y'all have any suggestions, just let me know in the comments section. But I'm probably about to go ahead and end today's video right here. I am kind of tired. I'm kind of hungry, and I need to go get me something to eat. I was going to install these wheel studs. I still have down here on the floor the Muteki ones that I introduced to y'all last video. But like I said, this <laughs> this shifter did wear me out today because I had to do it by myself. Remember, if y'all have somebody else that can help you, please get them to help you because it's easier to have somebody sitting up here and managing the top portion as you do the bottom or vice versa. This was quite an experience for me. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down in the section below, like I said, and let me know any shift knobs that y'all want me to go look at, any companies that build shift knobs, or if any of y'all's companies or companies that you know are willing to collab with me on a shift knob, that we could possibly, you know, make a profit off of, then let me know that in the comment section too. Share this video with anybody with a Genesis Coupe that's looking to get a ship knob, preferably the unique performance one like I have, or the some of the other brands, I can't actually think of the names of them right now, probably like ATQ, Torque Solutions, but other than that, like I said, this is going to wrap up today's video, so always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more, and I thank you all for watching. <laughs>